also Rans and Wildcats. 2010 to 2012, and then after that point, virtually all of the data is gone, except YouTube videos where people got a hold of the firearm and cartridges. A 105-pound, extra-long-range, bolt-action, 48-inch barreled rifle, a project from 2010 to 2012 approximately, received an ATF sporting purposes exemption when it's obviously an anti-material rifle and over 50 caliber at 58 almost, and... It's a destructive device that doesn't send explosives. Got the exemption and blessing from the ATF because reasons. Three companies were involved in the development of it. The 14.9 millimeter, just under 15 millimeter, 102 millimeter long overall length, SOP ELR, extremely long range cartridge. High ballistic coefficient, 1.85. Very long projectile, 4 inches. Extra heavy at 160, excuse me, 1,690 1, grains, almost 4 ounces. A projectile with a 3,350 feet per second muzzle velocity for 42,000 foot-pounds of muzzle energy with a half minute of arc accuracy at 3,000 yards. Calculated. Not experimentally confirmed. This was back when they said overtly on the one or two places they were being honest and never posted again about it in any way, shape, or form. We're working on it. Supersonic at 5,400 yards, over 5 kilometers. Packaged in a neck-down 20-millimeter Vulcan parent case, like a lot of cartridges are, including the Denel NTW 14.5 millimeter variant that has much, much lower performance. These are claimed performance levels and claimed accuracy levels and claimed supersonic distance max range. It was a wildcat. You overdrive it. You use a bull barrel. You use way more propellant than you should or use the wrong kind so that it does something crazy in the barrel or you do a progressive burn so that the projectile acts a little more like a rocket by initially getting up to speed and then really pushing it as it comes out of the barrel. The place that everybody pointed at was Sniper's Hide, a uh, website. Snipershide.com, forum, UBB threads, PHP, UBB, show flat, number, blah, blah, blah. And it was the thread named 2197743, which was supposed to have pictures and a welcoming community in 2012. It was destroyed due to ego infighting and insults going back and forth, mucking up the mess because some people really, really wanted their opinions to be reality. As for the three companies involved, not one mention after that point. Since three companies were involved in creating each of the components and doing all the research work, hopefully ending up with a better quality piece of equipment to take out a tank so we don't have to deal with attackers, this project died. You can see videos from 2016, which may be older and just reposts, or recent, but there may have been one or two of these guns built. Meanwhile, wikipedia.org slash wiki slash d-e-n-e-l underscore n-t-w dash 20 had a 14.5 millimeter variant that had much more sanity-inducing numbers associated with it, not a really special device, and... Pushing it to more extreme specs would result in the gun barrel wearing out more quickly or whatever. If you're using it for single shots for demonstration or for ooh and ah factor, you don't have to worry about practicality. Was this an interesting over-the-top, oh my god, I can't believe that thing? Yes, just like the 90-some-odd caliber JDJ that the company refused to even put off specifications as to what it was like, which was based on taking a Vulcan cannon cartridge, a 20 millimeter, which is a little over an inch uh, diameter at the base, and that's all you'll find, aka the Hispano cartridge. Everybody's come up with the same idea of using a ridiculously over-capacity case and then necking it down to get some velocity. And in this case, using a very high ballistic coefficient bullet, trying to do, you know, incredibly high quality stuff. But the thing is, you're at half minute of angle at 3,000 yards. That's actually not that impressive these days. This is from 2010 to 2012. 
not just wildcatting, but just sitting there figuring out what's the magic mixture, what's the best powder. Should we use copper clad or all copper bullets? Should we switch over to brass or maybe aluminum bronze that looks like gold? It's an interesting project, but the only thing I see is a bunch of infighting and argument on snipers hideout, which I'm not, not going to make a joke, and a bunch of fluff that only happened for a short period of time for all three companies that have stopped talking about it. I'm sure there are several guns and several cartridges, and I'm sure there's reloading dies made special for it, and I'm sure this is extremely expensive, and and you can still just do the same thing with a 50 BMG and overdrive it and not care about the barrel, because you can make a 50 BMG barrel out of water pipes. It won't last. You can harden the inside, then it will. Almost as much as the normal barrels. Or just buy a 50 BMG barrel and just overbuild the external casing. An interesting project that died practically as soon as it was announced. And the most important part about it is watching grown men, quote-unquote, fighting like little bitches. <laughs> but it was an interesting read. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Good luck.